Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Today we look in on the Excello Pictures Corporation in Hollywood. We look in to find Papa in his office, just finishing a telephone conversation with Sidney. All right. All right, goodbye. And please don't bother me for two hours because I'm going to have some lunch and I don't want that my appetite should be spoiled. What? No. No, I'll eat alone. Because when I'm eating alone, I eat better. Yeah, yeah, goodbye. Shlamil, shlamil. Maybe you're smart at the same time, huh? Peek-a-boo, Papa. Peek-a-boo. Huh? Peek-a-boo. What's the matter, Mommy? You crazy? <laughs> Come on in and shut the door. Uh-huh. Oh, Papa, it's a very lovely day. I feel sorry for you because you're having to sit in the office. <laughs> you shouldn't feel sorry for me about that. I got other things to worry about. On a day like this, you shouldn't be worrying. Maybe not. Hey, Mama, what are you doing here before lunch? Why shouldn't I be here before lunch? Do I look different after lunch? I should wait. Is there a lot of... <laughs> <I should laughs> wait 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 should... All right, all right, all right, Mama. I, I give up. <laughs> you are here before lunch, and I am happy. <laughs> That's good, Jake. That's good. Ah, Papa, this morning I'm feeling like a cent. A million. <laughs> if you was feeling like a cent, you'd be feeling like I am. So, is something the matter again? Yes, Mama, not again. I know what's the matter with you, Papa. It's almost lunch and you're hungry. <laughs> I can read you between the pages like a magazine. Like a... Ma- then, so I'm hungry. So I'll go to lunch. I thought we should eat together. No. Uh, yeah. All right, so we'll eat together. May I? I'll take you to the commissary. You'll take me there, Papa? To the commissary, the commissary. All the way to Russia? We have to go to eat? Are you crazy, Jay? Mommy, you don't understand. The commissary ain't got a thing to do with Russia. The commissary is the lunchroom where everybody in the studio eats. Jake, don't tell me. A commissary is a serviette. A serviette is a napkin. The commissary we got here is our lunchroom. And if you ain't hungry enough to eat in it, I am. <laughs> well, Jake, uh, we leap and lean. We, li- we live and loin. But, come on, Mama, come on, before you got me crazy. Yeah, huh? To drive you crazy is easy. You're crazy before anybody could be saying Jacob Ravenstein. It, who wants to say it? <laughs> all right, so we'll eat with Russians. I'm ready, Papa. Eat with Russians, all right, so we don't have an argument. I'll have everybody put on beards. Come on, come on, Mama, I am starving. You always that. are. Go ahead, Papa. Yeah, yeah. La, 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 la. Papa. Yeah, yeah. Is that the stenotypist? Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Mr. <laughs> I don't know your name, but did you like to write English yet? Mama! Oi! <laughs> Oi! What are you thinking I am? You shouldn't be pulling me through a door so fast. What's the matter with you? Mama, why did you ask my stenographer if she learned to write English? It's like you got a memory like nothing. She's the girl who wrote the funny little lines that didn't mean nothing. <laughs> I found out about that later. Mama, it was shorthand. Shorthand? Something new that Sidney and Harold thought of? No, Mama, no. All the stenographers use it. <laughs> Is that silly? Who can read it? They can. Can you, Jack? I can't, Becky. Then why should they write it? So they can read it when they are finished writing it, and then I am... When, uh, I, look, I am hungry. I don't want to be standing here oh, all right, day and find... Papa, to, uh, oh, right. All right. Don't be hollering like the well man from Barney's. Oh, there's the lunch room. Right over there, where all the people are going now. <laughs> Honest, Mama, I don't see how they do it. Not that whistle is blowing to telling him it's 12 o'clock. But some way or other, they always find it out. Jake, what tells you when it's time to eat? What tells me? What tells <laughs> my stomach? My well, stomach. ain't the other people got stomachs? Don't you think they're getting hungry, too? They've been, hmm. Or maybe you think you're a privileged carpenter. Uh, <laughs> I give up. Yeah. Oh, there's Rachel Rabinovich. Please, Mama, please. Her name huh? is Masha Velier. I forgot, Papa, I forgot. So there goes Masha Rachel Rabinovich Velier. <laughs> 
Becky, when you're in a good humor, I'm never knowing what to expect. <laughs> so you're surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, here, yeah, we're going this way. Yeah. Oh, my, my, isn't it nice in here? Sure, sure, it's nice. I'm sure it is. Ah, it's a cafeteria. A cafeteria? I mean, you carry your own truck. So we'll get in line. Sydney and Harold eat in the private dining room. What's the matter with them? Are they ashamed? No, 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 no. They're big shots. Uh. <laughs> but me, me, I'm still Jake Bloom, who was once in the knee pants business and who can't remember it without wishing he was back. Uh, take it away, Mama. All right, Papa. I'll take it. Oh, you cut a long line. Say, Mama, I'll tell you what. You tell me what you want to eat, and I'll bring it to you at that uh, that table over there. All eh? right, Papa. You just get me what you get, and it'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're getting to talk like the boys. <laughs> you just get me some lunch, Yasha. <laughs> I will be waiting, Mama, Papa. Mama, you're a today. Just plain. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I'm wanting to sit here. Thank you. <sighs> Uh, hmm? Pardon me, madam, but uh, may I sit here and partake of my lunch? You, uh, I'm very sorry, but what did you say? I wish to sit here and eat. Oh, <laughs> why did you say so? It's a pleasure, Mr. Uh, uh, I, I didn't catch the name. Morlington, Arthur S. Morlington. You've heard of me, of course. Well, your face ain't familiar, but your name ain't needed. Mm, I see. Yeah. Are you on a diet? Uh, no, 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 madam. I must eat lightly to keep me weight down. You're skinny now. Frankness of tongue is the essence of speech. Its bareness lies exposed, the looseness of flattery. Yeah, I... Oi, double talk. No, no, madam. Shakespeare said that. The immortal bard. The immortal... Does he work here? Shakespeare, madam, is dead. Oh, he was a friend of yours. Hmm. Uh, I beg pardon, madam, but please, your jests do not strike me humorously. I have the salt. Oh, certainly, certainly, I'll pass it. You know, you should eat more, Mr. Morlink. I, uh, <laughs> I still ain't got the name. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't know me, madam. Suffice it to say, I am an actor, valuable to this company. Oh, that's good, that's mm. good. But I'm still saying you should eat more, you're skinny. Mm, perhaps. But my value to this company and to others here in Hollywood lies in keeping me slimness. Why are you eating so fast, Mr. Shakespeare? I am not Shakespeare. I am eating rapidly because I must get back to the set. I cannot hold up production to satisfy the cravings of an appetite. You know, you should be the proper stenotypist. I can't understand her neither. <laughs> but you, uh, you are a great actor. Madam, I accepted this job merely to fill in. Between me appearances on Broadway, I'm resting. Ah, oh, I see. Do you like the crust on the bread? I always eat them. Uh-huh. Uh, what picture are you in now, mister? At present, I am appearing in a costume picture. Just one sequence, madam, but I lift it. I lift it. You work here, too? Uh, no, no. My husband does. I'm uh, waiting for him. I see. Mm. Your husband, I take it, uh, played Shakespeare? No, no. Pinnacle. Uh, <laughs> very funny. Yes, indeed. Not the poppy thing, especially when he loses. Mm. Uh, but tell me, mister, how long are you in Hollywood? Two years, madam, two long years. In that time, I've had opportunity to rest between Broadway appearances. There's a role waiting for me now in a great production of Hamlet, that of Polonius. You know the role, of course? I didn't get the name. Polonius. I thought you said it was Mollington. I am to play Polonius, one of the characters in Hamlet. Oh, oh, I understand. Uh, did somebody here write it? Madam Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Oh. What else did you act in? I've played King Lear, Macbeth, Shylock. Oh, just think. Uh, who are they? Characters, madam. Characters and Shakespeare. Did he write everything? Everything worthwhile, madam. All else is the tinselly draperies of foolishness. That, once thrown into the lightness of reason, loses its power to attract and instead glistens but dully by the side of worthy things. Did Shakespeare write that, too? He did, madam. No wonder I never heard of him. Who could understand it? The immortal bard needs no understanding other than that of his devotees. No, because... Oh, here comes Papa. Papa, oh, here I am, Papa. I see you, Mama. I see you, my boy. Excuse me, please. Oh, when you got treasure food in your hands, you wouldn't be seeing a thing. See that, I'm darling. trying to, Mama. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Papa, I'm wanting you to meet Mr... Uh... Mr. Morlington, Arthur yeah. S. Morlington. Uh, yeah. I'm glad to know you. I am honored. Uh, Mr. Morlington is an actor, Papa. He acted with our king in a ham. The king? I... <laughs> Papa, you brought me pie. I don't want pie. But you like apple pie, Mommy. You like it very much. Jack, you're foolish. Mm -hmm. I do not like apple pie, and you brought some for yourself. You can't eat two pieces. Mama, I'm getting very... Ah, uh, Mr. Mullington, mm -hmm. please eat the pie. Oh, I'm wanting yeah. you should, so it ain't going to waste. Oh, no, madam, I... Uh... Oh, please, drink me the favor, yeah? yeah well... <laughs> 
I could never refuse that of a lady. Uh, uh, what's going on? Papa, eat your lunch. It's getting cold. Uh, yeah, everything is crazy today. Very crazy. Uh, no. Is the pie good, Mr. Mollickson? Uh, very good, madam. You know, something wrong. It's the first time in my life I'm hearing you say you don't like apple pie. I like apple strudel, not apple pie. You mix around, Papa. Oh, mm. and you brought me coffee. Coffee I don't want. You don't want coffee? I don't want coffee. It keeps me awake. It keeps you awake in the middle of the day. Mama, sometimes I don't understand you. Ah, uh, Mr. Mollington, mm. please drink my coffee. I want you should. Well, really, madam, You shouldn't I... be getting wasted, huh? Well, I, I could drink another cup. That's good, that's good. Mm. Uh, Papa? No. Huh? Mr. Mollington's a great actor. Oh, he is. You're working here. Yes, I, I finished a sequence today. Of course, I, I take these little parts merely to keep my hand in until I return to Broadway. Oh, I see. <laughs> we actors who really know don't care about the money... We're trying to put a little art into film. Art? Ah, who says they ain't got it? Sir, there is no art but that of the stage. No. I wouldn't touch a part in films if it weren't for the fact that I hate to see the younger generation growing up without a little taste of fine art. That's why I accept parts. I could have more, but... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You could have more. You could Papa, have... the meat slipped off your fork uh -huh. and you got your new suit on again. What? Oh, all right, man, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I must be leaving. Thank you very, very much for your company. And I'm happy to have met you. <laughs> the pleasure was all yours. Ours, Mama, ours. Ours, oh, sure. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Mr. Molling. Adieu, madam, adieu. Adieu, adieu. Is that Who is he? He says he's a great actor. <laughs> I never heard of him. Never mind. Papa, I want you should do me a favor. Uh, the, the, the checkbook's in the office in my desk. I'm not wanting the checkbook. Then what? I'm wanting you should give the man a job. Give him a job? Mama, you heard of me. Don't want a job. He just... Papa, listen to me. Maybe I'm not knowing a lot about Shakespeare. Maybe there are a lot of things that are muddy to me. But I know people when I see them. The man needs a job, and I'm wanting you should give it to him. Give him a job? But you heard him. He, 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 he talked just... very big, Papa, but he ate little, so I know he's needing a steady job. <laughs> Mama, I love you. You see right through people. Yeah, so you'll give the man a job? All right, Mama, all right for you. I'll do it. That's good, Jake, that's good. But I don't want you should be doing it for me. All right, so I'll be doing it for him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, who is he? Who is he, Jake? He told you who he was. He's the friend of the immoral beard. <laughs> 